Hey guys, so um, today's episode of the Negan series, man, this series is stressing me out. Um, so I know Negan is super controversial and some of you guys are mad that I'm giving him a platform, which I get because he's like a super like not good guy and I know that. Um, but I really think there's more to the story and there are some we need to look at it from all sides and we'll look at it from his side eventually but i really think we need to look at it from all sides so today we are looking at the enemies of negan i do not Appreciate you killing my men. So now, I'm gonna beat the holy hell out of one of you. So, um, like I said, we're gonna be talking to the enemies of Negan today. Um, we're gonna be talking to Rick, and we have a walker that's gonna speak out for kind of like zombie kind and tell us what it's like living in a world uh, that's kind of run by people like Rick and Negan. Um, if you remember from my last series, um, we had my friend Katie, who's a licensed th therapist here on YouTube, um, kind of help us handle that conversation. Well, we don't have her this time, but she did give us another resource, like how she used her BDSM. Uh, Shana, I think, I think you mean the, the DSM? <laughs> right, right, um, same thing, same thing. <laughs> um, we are going to use this book on monster theory and monster culture to kind of supplement our interviews. So, without further ado, let's get into the interviews. So Rick, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm Shane, this is Andrew. Hey, nice to meet you, great name. Oh, back at you. <laughs> so, let's just address the elephant in the room, Negan. Uh, Negan's a piece of shit. He's what's wrong with the apocalyptic okay. world. All right, um, let's, let's explore that a little bit. What kind of makes you... Let me stop you there. Hold on. Last okay. guy named Shane I knew, he was a real asshole. So I just want to ask you a few questions, find out what kind of person you are. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I love dogs. I have two of them. How many walkers have you killed? I'm sorry? How many walkers have you killed? None, right? None? Yeah. None? Yeah. Okay. How many people have you killed? Oh my god, none. I think that answers my last question. Okay, um... Hold on. Bang! Oh god! Sorry about that. It's like they're trying to talk to us. Yeah, you know, I've been trying to figure that out for like nine seasons now. Anyways, so, um, Negan, why all of the hate? Were you two really that different? Like, I know he, like, murdered your friends in cold blood right in front of you, tried to make you cut your son's arm off, but, like, well, you were in similar... Let me stop you there. I think you answered your own question there, mate. Um, okay, well, um, this has been great. Uh, it was good meeting you. You too. Hey, put those things away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. Oh my god, is this her house? Um, no, Shane, this is a, this is a public building. I, I, I told you this like an hour ago. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Watch the curb. Moving on. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this interview, like, she's a zombie. Is she gonna smell? Like, is, is that bad to ask? Is that offensive? I, I honestly don't know. Okay, I mean, like, it, there, she's a zombie, like, I, biologically. Yeah, biologically. And, like, She's the undead, so is she living? Is she dead? Is she in limbo? I mean, like, are we about to interview basically a demon? Does she does she think like we do? Like, does her brain function in the same way? I guess that's what we're about to figure out. All right. Hey. Oh. 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 Okay. Hi. I'm Shane, this is Andrew. Hi. Hi. All right, I'm just gonna put the, the mic on the camera real quick. Hold on. Uh, Sh Shane, Shane, behind you. Oh my God, what the f Oh, 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 there, oh. There, there's a spider on my back. Thank oh. you, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh God. Okay, so 
Do you want to tell us a little bit about what it's like living in this human post-apocalyptic world? Oh. 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 Oh.
All right, okay. Do you want to elaborate on that maybe? Lucille. <laughs> oh, Lucille. Hey guys, so as you could kind of tell, um, Negan had some trouble talking to us. So everybody involved, Andrew, Negan, and I decided to just try tomorrow for maybe the next part. Maybe deep down he's nervous because he knows that even though he's not the... I don't think he's the only bad guy. I don't know. I don't... He can't be. Right? Because, like... I don't know. I'm starting to be on Team Zombie, to be honest. But uh, I just kind of wanted to explain that. I know it was a really abrupt cut. And uh, I wasn't going to include it, but... Andrew thought we needed it, so, um, yeah, hopefully that next interview will come tomorrow. So just wanted to fill you guys in on that and explain why that was like that. Okay, so I'm sitting here and like, I, it's the day before the Negan interview, and I can't sleep, and I can't, like... <sighs> Shane, I'm nervous for you, be careful, okay? What's he gonna do? Use his bat on me? We kill the right people in the wrongest way possible, and we make them all wise! I'm just getting started.